Good day ladies and gentlemen. Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shunmugam and Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Balakrishnan have sued Mr. Lee Xian Yang for defamation over allegations relating to their rental of two black and white bungalows at Ridout Road. The case conference will take place on Tuesday, the 5th of September 2023, at 9 a.m., according to a hearing list on the Singapore Court's website. The two ministers are represented by a team from Devinder Singh Chambers. Mr. Shunmugam and Dr. Balakrishnan had sent lawyers letters to Mr. Lee in July, saying they would sue unless he apologizes, withdraws his allegations and pays damages. In a Facebook post on 27 July 2023, Mr. Shunmugam said Mr. Lee had accused him and Dr. Balakrishnan of acting corruptly and for personal gain by having Singapore Land Authority, SLA, give us preferential treatment by illegally felling trees without approval, and also having SLA pay for renovations to 26 and 31 Ridout Road. These allegations are false, Mr. Shunmugam added. After Mr. Shunmugam and Dr. Balakrishnan said they would sue if he did not withdraw his allegations, Mr. Lee said in a Facebook post on 29 July 2023 that the ministers were wrong about what he said, adding that his post on 23 July 2023 simply stated facts that were already widely published in the Singapore and international media. Mr. Lee added that his post was made in the United Kingdom, UK. If K. Shunmugam and V. Balakrishnan believe that they have a real case, then they should sue me in the UK, he said. Although Mr. Lee is overseas, he can still be sued in Singapore. This is possible as long as the Singapore court is the appropriate forum to hear the matter, said lawyers. Lawyers also said that should a lawsuit be filed, it is most likely that Mr. Lee would have to return to Singapore to testify unless the court exercises its discretion and allows an application by Mr. Lee for him to testify via video link. Should Mr. Lee fail to get permission to give evidence via a live video link and not return to Singapore to present the evidence, then the likelihood that he loses the case increases, said lawyers. If Mr. Lee loses the case and does not comply with the court order to pay for damages, lawyers said it could result in the seizure and sale of his local assets and even bankruptcy. If Mr. Lee has no local assets, then there are means to seek damages through his foreign assets. So why did Mr. Lee Xian Yang make a huge mistake? Mr. Lee Xian Yang should not have published the allegations relating to the two ministers' rental of two black and white bungalows at Ridout Road. This has resulted in the two ministers suing Mr. Lee for defamation. If Mr. Lee loses the case and does not comply with the court order to pay for damages, Lawyers said it could result in the seizure and sale of his local assets, and even bankruptcy. If Mr. Lee has no local assets, then there are means to seek damages through his foreign assets. The fact of the matter is, while Mr. Lee thinks he is safe as his foreign assets are difficult to reach, the two ministers are not after his foreign assets. Professor Ma would like to repeat that. The two ministers are not after his foreign assets. They are after his most valuable asset in Singapore. Yes. They are after 38 Oxley Road, one of the most historically valuable houses in Singapore, where two prime ministers had lived. Mr. Lee Xian Yang made a huge mistake as his actions have most likely cost him the ownership of 38 Oxley Road, and he will then no longer be able to fulfill the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's wish to demolish the house. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.